Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter in Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investments Monday, January the 11th. First full trading week after the holidays. Last week, news kind of sporadic. That was to be expected this week. We expect full news flow. I got three great press releases for you today. Start off first with China. As you know, we really love China. And the company today is China Energy Recovery. Trades on the OTC under the stock symbol CGYV. Uh, they design, manufacture, and install waste heat energy recovery systems. Today, they announced the signing of a $2.6 million contract with a sulfuric acid producer in China. This is to build and install a low temperature waste heat recovery system uh, for an 800,000 ton per year sulfuric acid plant. So this is a major deal with a major client. Uh, the company received an initial payment equal to about 20% of the total contract. They're expecting it to be completed by December 2010 and a remittance will take place over that time. I really like this space because it's in the green energy place and uh, in the green energy space. And we know that China is really going to need these, these kind of services. This company can captures industrial waste energy to produce low-cost electrical power, uh, enabling industrial manufacturers to reduce their energy costs, reduce their carbon footprint, and generate sellable emission credits. Trust me, if you don't know about this space, this is going to be big business going forward. The company on Friday closed at 95 cents. That's just off its 52-week low of 85 cents. Its 52-week high is 220. So maybe a good entry point, but do your own due diligence because there may be some negative factors that have kept it down near its 52-week trading range and may have, may have even been a victim maybe of uh, some tax loss selling, which may be an even greater opportunity to get in, but do your own due diligence. Next up, East Asia Minerals trades on the Venture Exchange on the stock symbol EAS. They announced that they drilled 1.64 grams per ton of gold over 70, over 70 meters. That's within 133 meters, grading 1.01 grams per ton of gold. Big numbers there. This is at their project in northern Sumatra, Indonesia. That was whole EMD 015. Go take a look at the press releases for all, for the press release for all the uh, details. But we do know this from the company. The hole was drilled south from the company's gold rich drill holes. To date, the company has drilled one kilometer of strike length uh, along the shallow, laterally extensive 1.2 kilometer long main gold zone and has encountered wide intercepts of gold mineralization in all holes drilled. That's a very positive sign. And the zone remains open in all directions. Further indication that East Asia is really, uh, really executing. Closed on Friday, $4.40, 52-week high, $4.82. So they're bumping right up against their 52-week high. They're low, 18 and a half cents. This is just another example of the great gains that can be made when you follow good small cap resource companies. Comes up cash, real projects, and real management. Congratulations to everyone over at East Asia Minerals. And finally, Metals Creek Resources trades on the venture on the stock symbol MEK. This isn't a Gorcom client, have to disclose that, but we don't discuss a Gorcom client news unless it stands on its own two feet. They announced 6.76 grams ton of gold over one meter and 5.44 grams ton of gold over one meter. This is at their Porphyry Hill project in Timmins, on, uh, in Timmins Ontario. The company has received four uh, drill hole results from the recently completed drill program on their Ogden property in Timmins, Ontario. This is part of the uh, of an option agreement with Gold Corp Canada and Gold Corp Inc. Great partners to have. They're operating together as the Porcupine Joint Venture. That highlight hole I gave you uh, right off the top was hole PH009004. Go take a look at other uh, results there. But we do know this from the company. Uh, this hole represents the deepest intercept to date within the Porphyry Hill area at approximately 90 meters vertically below surface. That's close to 270 feet below surface. Metals Creek can earn a 50% interest in the Ogden Gold property, including the former Nabob Gold Mine, which is located six kilometers south of Timmins. And for those of you that are very familiar with this space, that's a great place to be when you're mining. Closed on Friday at 15 cents. 52-week low, six and a half cents. So they've done some pretty good work. Still have a lot of work to go. Do your own due diligence. That's a wrap. As always, if you look, if you look for more great small cap news and information, then head over to the front page of Agoracom. Three things you can do there. First, watch this video every day or subscribe to it through any of our distribution partners, uh, YouTube, Google Video, AOL Video. We're syndicated everywhere as well as, well as all those Web 2.0 video sites. Second, we've got the best press releases of the day separated by industry right on the front page. And third, we got a link into our marketplace. 
A lot of great companies there, great succinct descriptions, so you can quickly find the one that best suits your portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.